Hey guys, so I hope you all had an amazing Christmas and um, I'm going to do a Christmas haul today because I want to show you some cool things that I got and I just want to say I'm not doing this to brag at all I just got some really exciting stuff and I just wanted to show you so I hope you enjoy I'm going to try and keep this one shorter than my birthday one so I'm just going to talk things quite quickly so we can get through everything so the first thing I got is this floral notebook and I get through notebooks really quickly so I was very excited when I got this and it looks very high quality next I got this um, shower set from Topshop and it has a body polish which is like a scrub and a body wash and a body butter I also got this shower set from Beautycology and it's in the scent strawberry macaroon and it has a body wash and a body lotion and a loofah so I also got this set from Body Shop it has three of their body butters in it it doesn't actually say the scents which is really strange but oh here it is um, this one's the cranberry, the frosted cranberry um, this one is the vanilla brulee and this one's the glazed apple. I got a set of Nivea skincare products and I got rid of the packaging because it took up too much space but I got a hand cream, a shower cream, a moisturising cream, a day cream and a deodorant. Next I got this set of, well it's got four brushes and a mirror so it just has all the different types of brushes. I actually got quite a lot of earrings. So the first ones I got um, in these little Christmas tree ones, it has one, six pairs. It has lots of different colours and they all look really nice. I also got another pair of earrings and um, these ones are like, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but they're pink hearts with gold sequins in the corner. I think they're really pretty. So more earrings I got are um, these like, a different card, what's the word, like card symbols I guess. The last set of earrings I got came in this little box, this sterling silver box. Let's see if I can open this. There we go. It has three pairs of earrings, it has one normal stud, one bigger stud and then a heart. The next thing I got is this little white scrunchie, I think this is from Topshop and I just wanted like a new scrunchie because it's just Instead of like having a normal ponytail, you can just jazz it up a bit with one of these and just really easy hairstyle for school. Next, I got this um, these pairs of pink ankle socks. I think these are really cute. I think they're great for winter, obviously, because that's when it's colder. <laughs> Next, I got this. It's quite big. I got this palette from number seven, this eyeshadow palette. I'll just open it up so I can show you. Some shimmery ones, some matte ones. I just think, I don't really have, um, oh, you, oh. Filmception. Anyway, um, I just think these colours are really pretty for winter time. Next, I got this Rimmel brow pencil. Yeah, it's Rimmel, isn't it? Um, in dark brown. It just has a spoolie and just a normal brow pencil because mine has run out. Next, I got the um, Maybelline Falsies Volume Express waterproof mascara. I've heard loads of people talk about the Falsies mascaras before, so I just wanted to try it out, and mine was running out, so I just thought it'd be a great time to get a new one. Next I just got another one of my Soap and Glory Super Cat liners because mine was getting a bit dry and I've got more into doing liquid liner lately so I just wanted to get a new one. Next I've got the Rimmel Soft Curl Kajal Eyeliner Pencil in black and mine was on its last leg so I just thought it's a good time to get a new one and this one was really inexpensive so. Next I got one of the Maybelline Elixir Lip Glosses, I think they're lip glosses and this is in the shade Signature Scarlet. Um, I'll swatch it for you. Oh. Wow, just a bright red colour. Very pigmented, looks really good. Next I've got the Maybelline Colour Tattoo in the shade On and On Bronze. I've Well these have been around for a long time but I've never actually got one. And I've heard lots of people um, raving about this bronze colour. So, and I just wanted to try one out because I've heard those people enjoying these. Next I got the Rimmel Provocalypse in the shade, what was the shade? I think it was, oh whoops, <laughs> Little Minx. I'll swatch it for you. It's a bright pink, fuchsia pink basically. And these have been, I think these are relatively new, like not new new but quite recently. And I've heard that they're very good, like they stay on all day. And I wanted to try one, and I got like a pretty bright colour because I just felt like it. 
Next I got another eyeshadow palette, this is the W7 In The Buff Lightly Toasted Eyeshadow Palette. There you go. It has lots of goldy, coppery, all of these are, yeah I think there's only a few that aren't, um, that are matte, so most are shimmery. Also got another eyeshadow palette, this is the Next Cashmere Eyeshadow Palette, which is sort of like the same tones as the other palettes, like bronzy and goldy colours. Next I got a set from Topshop, um, it's the Get Cracking Lip and Nail Duo, so it has the nude lip gloss and the gold mine nail polish. Next I got my very first product from NARS, this is the eyeshadow duo in the shade Silk Road. They're sort of rosy, I don't know, like, um, it's like gold, the first one's like gold but with like a rosy undertone and then the second one's like goldy but purplish sort of colour. Next I got one of my very first MAC products as well, oh just dropped it, I got the um, Painterly Paint Pot, it's just a nude colour because I just wanted one to, that I can use more regularly since it was my very first MAC product and it's just a nude colour basically just to help your eyeshadow stay on longer. I also got my very first MAC lipstick, this is in the shade Chatterbox, it's a bright, well it's not bright really. It's like a muted pink, really. Um, I'll swatch it for you. There you go. I think it's really pretty. Okay, now I'm going to go on to the clothes things. So I've got quite a lot. So the first thing I got is this set of pyjamas. I'll show you the top first. So it's um, hot pink and it has polka dots and lace detail across the top. And it came with matching trousers. I got quite a lot of pyjamas. So um, the next thing's also pyjamas. Um, I'll show you the top first again. So this has, it was all a dream written on the front, which I think is really cute. And it's just a baby pink colour with black lace detail. And this came with shorts. So I also got another onesie. Oh, I just blocked all of you. Um, this is just a brownish colour. And it's quite big, but I like that because it's nice and cosy. And it has little berries on the top. <laughs> so now onto some proper clothes. I got this top, the black and white graphic tee. Next I got this long sleeve black crop top and it has Paris France written on the front and this is really soft actually and um, I think this look nice with high waisted jeans. Next I got this burgundy jumper. I just think obviously in winter time burgundy is a very popular colour and um, sorry <coughs> and um, I needed some more jumpers because mine getting a bit small for me so I went for a burgundy one. The last thing is this, hold on it's inside out, there you go, is this black cardigan, um, it's quite a long cardigan, it goes down to about like just above your knees I think, and it's, I don't really know what this material is called, but it like, it reminds me of like what movie stars wear like over their shoulders, I don't know what that means, but um, it's really warm and cosy. Yeah so that's everything that I got for Christmas. Um, I hope I didn't rush through everything um, too quick. I just wanted to get everything done quickly because my um, birthday haul was pretty long. So. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel for more videos. I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas, even if you don't celebrate it. Just I hope you had a great day. And enjoy the rest of the time off school. And I'll see you next time.